Live from the Business Radio X studio inside Renaissance Bank, the bank that specializes in understanding you. It's time for North Fulton Business Radio. And hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of North Fulton Business Radio. I'm John Ray, and we are still virtual. Uh, We'll be back in our studio hopefully very soon, but uh, we're still trucking along, going strong, and we're coming up on episode number 250, 250 episodes we've had over the last four years, and we're excited about that. But And we were excited about being able to showcase uh, great folks like uh, the two gentlemen we're about to introduce. Uh, Steve Rawl and Craig Dowdy, they are uh, in the commercial banking division of United Community Bank here in the North Fulton area. Steve, Craig, welcome. Thank you, John. Appreciate it, John. Yeah, thanks uh, Thanks for coming on. Um, so just as an overview, uh, I know folks maybe see the United Community Bank name and brand around when they see branches, but for those that don't know United Community, why don't you give everyone an overview of your of your bank? Yeah, I'll be glad to. This is Steve. Um, you know, United Community Bank be, being around since uh, 1950 or so. You know, we, we've we're known for our excellent service. I think you see that in our tagline. You know, the bank that's service built. We're a service first organization. Uh, that's part of our foundation. You know, that's just who we are as a community bank. Uh, we see banking very much as a people business. Um, you know, numbers are obviously important. We're going to do X number of loans and open, open X number of relationships. But the strength of our bank lies in, in the relationships that we build with each and every one of our clients. Um, you know, that's that's just how we see banking as a, as a people business more more so than a financial institution. Uh, that's great. Now, t- talk a little bit about I guess the the size of your bank and and maybe some of the some of the um, a little bit of the tra- trajectory because I know over the years you know you've grown pretty nicely here in the, in the uh, Atlanta area and certainly in North Fulton. Yeah, uh, John. Actually, that's that's a big part of why we joined the team here at United and. Um, I, I will answer your question, but let me let you know what my team looks like. Um, sure. We're in the Alpharetta LPO or loan production office. This is a brand new office that opened in March and houses myself, uh, Craig Dowdy, who is the team leader for our team here. And we also have three other bankers, um, Robert Quinilty, Brad Brooker, and Sonki Vongsak. All five of us came from what was SunTrust or is now Truist Bank in Mm. in March. All of us had long careers there. I think Craig had the longest. But we wanted to make a difference in a community, and we saw that United Community Bank gave us the best opportunity to do that. Um, United is currently in four states. Um, We recently made an acquisition in Florida with Seaside Bank. Um, they have a very robust commercial bank as well as private wealth area, and that's going to complement uh, our growth strategy very, very well. Atlanta is, we, we have three divisions in Atlanta, west, central, and east. Uh, inside the perimeter, um, North Fulton, you know, the area that we're in here in, in uh, Alpharetta, we want to grow and expand our presence and and. Uh, market share in this particular area. We think that a a big metropolitan area like Atlanta is very important to the overall success of our bank. And, um, you know, the five bankers that we have here in Alpharetta, as as well as a a Buckhead location that has uh, five seasoned bankers as well, makes up the central division. And, you know, I guess the goal here is to go out use our, our experience we had at a big regional, super regional bank and, and bring those skills and relationship building um, 
you know, traits over to United and, and help really grow the Atlanta market. Uh, folks, if you just joined us, we're speaking with uh, Steve Rowell and Craig Dowdy, and they're with the Commercial Banking Division here in North Fulton, uh, located here in North Fulton, of United Community Bank. Um, so you you mentioned you came over from uh, the uh, what is now Truist. Um, so you're you, you, and obviously United Community Bank is a, is a pretty broad financial institution, but a lot smaller than uh, what ended up being the truest organization. I guess that that's it's the old story of being able to give more personal service and I guess being closer to your customers. Um, I'll let you put it in your words, though. <laughs> yeah, that, that's right. And, and to address the size of our organization, um, you know, from an asset standpoint, we're we're approaching fifteen billion in assets. Mm. Um, the bigger banks, obviously, um, much bigger in assets, much bigger client bases, not necessarily able to, um, be as close to the customer on the ground level in the markets as, as a community bank would be. And, and as we intend to be here at United community, um, to that in and of itself is a, a lot of the reason we, we're trying to translate our skills or transfer our skills over from the big bank where we want to be close to the clients and we want to do more things for them on a local scale. Uh, United Community Bank gives us that opportunity to do that. Now, you mentioned that uh, your team came over in March. That's an auspicious time to uh, make a change, right? I mean, uh, uh, who knew uh, in retrospect? Yeah, John, I think you're dead on. We had um, big intentions of coming over in March and, you know, setting the world on fire. We felt really confident what we could do and, and our approach of relationships in the market um, can make things happen really quickly for United. Mm-hmm. And then along came PPP and a curveball. Mm. Um, but the good thing is I think we all kind of adjusted really quickly. We got our eyes set on a goal and we took PPP and the opportunity that presented itself and delivered the culture and the relationship skills that, are, that attracted us to United Community Bank and threw that out in the market. Um, we're able to help tons of clients, um, bring a lot of new clients over to United Community Bank through the PPP program. Um, you know, it wasn't the way we intended to go out and get business, but I think with the situation, we quickly were able to adjust our plan and, and make something happen out during the market. So it turned out to be a really good thing for us, and um, we're building relationships and growing relationships off of that. Yeah, you know, let's dig into that a little bit. I mean, what what was it about um, – uh, PPP that, uh, gave you that opportunity. I mean, I think there's a lot of folks that, that know from their own experience, what, what maybe happened with their particular bank. But I mean, what was the opportunity that you saw, uh, more broadly to build those relationships that, that otherwise might not have come as quickly? Yeah, I think the first thing was communication, Uh, Mm. being able to give a track and a plan to our clients before the PPP was released. You know, being on top of emails, being on top of phone calls, um, sharing information as it came out with our clients and prospects around what was going to go on. Um, then the major thing I think that helped us out was our ability and United's ability to, to walk the process through from start to finish. Uh, we had a you know complete transparency in our process throughout. We didn't identify specific jobs for each individual. Each individual ran the entire process. Mm. And doing that kept the client fully aware of the situation throughout the whole process. And that, you know, that allows us to keep that relationship intact and to really deliver on what we stand for. Yeah. And this is kind of where, uh, you, you're at a, I mean, United community is, is, is at a really nice size. Um, not so big to be, um, impervious to human contact maybe is the way to put it, but, um, big enough to be able to bring resources to bear on a situation that got dropped out of the blue on not just your institution, but the entire banking industry. I mean, nobody was prepared to process, you know, the billions of dollars of PPP loans that suddenly the industry had to, had to, uh, process, correct? Yeah, you're right, John. And that, you know, that that's exactly right. Uh, we were small enough that, 
you know, we we gathered the wagons as a bank. Uh, everybody that was involved with the PPP was on a conference call one Sunday afternoon mm. um, with the head of our technology area, the, the, the one person at the bank that built our portal in-house. So we, you know, we custom built the portal it, it, in record time, uh, didn't know exactly how we were going to use that, but that was going to be the tool that we processed all of these loans. Um, we all got on the same page immediately. Um, there was a period of time where I, I forgot the number of days, but I think it was a, a month straight. So 28, 29 days straight of about 14 hour days mm. that every, everyone was on the phone in their office. And when I say everyone, I mean, everyone from a line banker like myself to our CEO, um, all the way up and everybody in between, we, we tackled it as a team. Communication was a constant theme, not only internally with um, how we were processing these applications, but externally with our clients and with our prospects. And I think it's important to note that we all, the five of us that came over here to Alpharetta, we didn't bring clients with us. So we had zero portfolio when we came over. And our portal was open to United Community Bank clients and non-United Community Bank clients. We, we did not distinguish between the two when we were processing these applications. Hmm. It's also important to note, we didn't distinguish between the size of the application. I mean, th- we had applications that were requesting four or five million dollars, and we had applications requesting a thousand dollars. There was no preferential treatment of those. We we worked a queue, and we we took the next one in line. We communicated with the client what we needed. We processed it as quickly as we could, and you know we secured funding for every single applicant that came to us during this process. Now, obviously, there were two waves of the PPP. The very first wave, not every single borrower that applied um, got funding in the first wave just because there were not enough man hours or time in mm-hmm. the day to process every single application. All right. But those that didn't get processed were first in line for this for the round two. And by the end of round two, we had we had fulfilled every single application that applied with the bank and secured them funding through the PPP program, regardless of status, if they were a client or if they were a non-client. And I can tell you from multiple conversations that I've had with people that they were extremely thankful that we took the time to walk them through the process, that we held their hand and educated them on what was needed, what wasn't needed. And um, in case after case after case, we saved businesses and, and we, we kept um, kept doors open. And that's something we're very proud of here. And uh, you two gentlemen are too nice to say, to um, say this explicitly, but I mean, let, let's just put it out there that not every bank, let's just put it like that made the decision to accept all comers. I mean, uh, some discriminated, uh, maybe that's the wrong word, but some, uh, uh, said, you know, it's customers only, or maybe it's loan customers only. Um, but, but, uh, United community really took the philosophy that, uh, we want to serve our communities, uh, whether you're a banking current banking customer or not. That's right, John. And, you know, every bank made their own choice, and that's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, we 100% respect that. But sure. at the end of the day, we realized that because of the clients and because of our communities, we exist. Without those, we, we wouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. Our jobs would be pointless and meaning, meaningless. So um, looking at the full picture and understanding kind of the opportunity in the market, United decided to help everyone that we could. And um, I think that was a good choice. Now, let's talk about uh – Hopefully, uh, those folks that you've helped are hopefully they're paying you back with relationships and, and deepening relationships. How's that going? I mean, how how are you able to take uh, the good work you've done in PPP um, and uh, uh, use that to to launch 
uh, your office there uh, or here in uh, North Fulton? Yeah, it's been really good so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think once you help a client out and they get to know you as a person and what you're there for and that you're there to help them out, and that's your number one priority is helping them, not helping yourself, um, you earn a lot of trust that way. And by doing that, we've been able to gather a ton of relationships. Um, We've started out with, like Steve said earlier, with zero portfolio, and we're now running along, you know, pretty sizable portfolio. Uh, we grew very quickly in deposit base, mm. and we're following that up with our treasury services and our other services to fully onboard those clients and move relationships. And um, but I think it all boils down to just that whole relationship piece, you know, doing what you say you're going to do, following up when you say you're going to follow up, and providing advice and guidance throughout the process. Um, that quickly builds trust, and I think you see a lack of that in other institutions sometimes. And we're here to fill that void. So it's been really good. You mentioned uh, your other services, and that's uh, uh, where I was going with my next question is what talk a little bit about the the broad range of services that you provide for businesses. Uh, and it, it's obviously more than just PPP loans. Yeah, certainly. Um, we are, you know, we're a full service commercial bank. Anything you can get at any large, you know, uh, nationwide bank, you can get fulfilled here at United Community Bank. The, the things that we focus on primarily are commercial loans. That can be anywhere from uh, an owner-occupied office building to a you know a high-rise multi um, multi-purpose in, in investment facility. We we provide financing for for real estate of all all shapes and sizes. We do operating lines of credit, uh, working capital lines of credit, asset-based lines of credit, equipment financing. Uh, a lot of um, clients, majority of our clients, m- more than likely, and, and a fair share of our employees don't realize that we own an equipment financing division called Navitas. Uh, there was an acquisition United Community Bank made uh, a few years ago, and it's paid off very well. They they finance equipment for business owners uh, as small as five thousand dollars up to half a million dollars. Very competitive interest rates mm. uh, offer you know leasing options as well through through that channel. Uh, as a commercial banker, commercial relationship manager, you know our job is not only to satisfy the the needs of our businesses from um, you know, make sure they have the products and services that they need to run their business effectively and efficiently, but to look out for the big picture. You know, these business owners that are running businesses, they're not doing it for their health primarily. They're doing it for, you know, their wealth as well. And so there's asset management, there's wealth management that we have to look into. Um, so we, we bring in our wealth partners to talk to them, to them about estate planning and, you know, possibly handing it down to the next generation. Mm. Um, and we have also specialized divisions within the bank, um, commercial real estate being one of them. Uh, we can, you know, loan on multifamily, uh, big apartment complexes, hospitals, um, huge, you know, developments. We can provide financing solutions either in-house or with partnership with other banks through participation and syndicated type uh, programs. So, you know, we're more than the small one, two, three branch community bank where, you know, everybody knows your name. We still try and know everybody's name, but we can offer, um, you know, someone working from home, appropriate products and services, and we can even bank Fortune 500 companies based on what their needs may be. Folks, we're here chatting with Steve Rawl and Craig Dowdy, and they're with the Commercial Banking Division of United Community Bank and located uh, here in North Fulton, uh, they and their colleagues. Uh, I'm curious what if there are particular industries or verticals or maybe company sizes uh, you'd like to, to – uh, talk about in terms of uh, those that are best fits for you. Is there there any particular, uh, you mentioned some of the real estate projects you're involved in, but, but are there any particular industries uh, that are good fits for you? 
we are generalists at our level um, here in the commercial bank. However, like I said, we do have specialized divisions. The industries that we seem to add the most value to are, um, you know, in, in the medical office space, the technology space, um, you know, construction, mm. um, general construction is, um, you know, very good area for us. Warehouses, you know, um, in, in the real estate area, people that are investing in warehouse space, office space, we can help them. Uh, staffing companies are really good leads for us with, you know, a lot of staffing companies need large asset based lines of credit to keep, you know, uh, payroll flowing. We provide an ex- excellent solution to that. Our our target market, if you will, if we had to get specific on a revenue size, would be anywhere, you know, $10 million, five to $10 million north mm-hmm. to probably 50 to $75 million. Uh, any, anything larger than that, they typically, um, you know, go to our middle market areas. But in our commercial bank, let's just call it five to uh, 75 million in revenue would be a, a very good lead for us. And, um, you know, the, the general businesses in our, in our area are, are typically technology, medical, real estate, um, staffing. Th- those are yeah. where we seem to add the most value. Awesome. Now, and just to be clear, I mean, uh, um, for folks that maybe don't know United Community Bank, I mean, you've got um, quite a network of branches throughout the uh, Atlanta area and certainly here in North Fulton that would service uh, clients that are smaller than your uh, particular uh, niche, uh, you know, sm- smaller businesses as well. Yeah, we, that, that's a, that is a good point, John. We, you know, even though we have um, certain, um, I guess, preferences as, si- as far as size of clients we can work with, we have very good relationships with all areas of the bank. Our branch partners, our small business bankers that are housed in branches around here uh, can can help clients that are, you know, smaller than what we can add value to. Mm-hmm. Uh, every location, and there's approximately 40 or so in the metro area, 40 or so uh, branch locations that our clients can can choose to bank, uh, bank at. More and more clients are, you know, banking virtually. Um, we have solutions that keep them from having to come to the bank as well. Um, so, but we do have other teammates in our, in our footprint that, that specialize in helping, you know, clients of a different segment. Um, so you, we talked a little bit about PPP and I, I, I'd be remiss if, if, uh, I didn't bring up the fact that we're kind of in, you might say as as the, well as the second wave of PP, PPP loans as that kind of winds down, we're we're really in uh, kind of the second phase of all that, which is the forgiveness phase. Um, what advice would you give to business owners about uh, the whole uh, business of getting their loan forgiven and how uh, what they should be doing about all that? That's a very good question, and honestly, that that is something we're having conversations with our clients with every single day, mm. and we do have some, I think, very good advice on on uh, that program. So um, early on, I, I got nominated to be on the committee, the forgiveness committee here at the bank. And, and basically what that is, is a point person in our market for all the lenders to go to with with questions that I can then either answer or lift up to our subject matter experts in the bank. So I'm, I'm fairly well versed on the forgiveness piece here at the bank. My number one recommendation for any borrower that took PPP funds is to have documentation. Mm-hmm. Every paycheck, every payroll report, every utility bill, every rent check, 
make sure you keep very good records. Um, there's been quite a bit of uh, change in, in the program. The original uh, scope was that this was an eight-week program. Um, Congress passed changes uh, lengthening the covered period from eight weeks to 24 weeks uh, or 1231 of this year. So it gave borrowers that had not had a chance to use all of their funds extra time to use all of their, their funds. Mm -hmm. um, the intent here, the goal of the bank is to help every single borrower receive 100% forgiveness of, the, of their loan. You know, we don't want any borrower to have to have funds left over that they either turn back into the SBA or they they have to turn into a loan that they have to pay back. So um, our roles as forgivers, if you will, that's that's the role we're taking on now for the next few months, I'd imagine, until we get through all of these loans, is to work with our clients in the same fashion and the same passion that we did originally to help them get the loan, we're going to work as passionately as we can to help them get 100% of that loan forgiven. So um, the same tech guru that built our portal has um, built some additional features into it to help it assist in the forgiveness piece. Our clients get a link, they go, they upload their supporting documentation for each week or each pay period that they used funds during the cover period. And um, once those figures are entered and the documentation to support their expenditures are uploaded, you know, we're notified. We then contact the client, walk through it, um, verify that the numbers match, and then approve that you know, usage. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, there is some some question about what we do next. <laughs> The Treasury is yet to release official guidance on how banks request forgiveness from the SBA. Uh, that's the next step. Uh, it, you know, for example, if you, as a business owner, receive these funds, you applied for forgiveness, supported the, the request with all the documentation, and you used 100 percent of your funds. We then verify that that's in-house and accurate. We at this point in time, don't have clear uh, clarity on how we submit that to the SBA. That's coming um, very shortly, I hope. So we'll be able to share that with our with our clients uh, about that. But but again, our goal is to work with clients, make sure they're able to use 100% of those funds towards the operation of their business and the payroll specifically. And you know, the rules did change from uh, the original guidelines of 75% of the funds needing to be used for payroll that changed down to 60%. So hopefully this is going to be able to help uh, a ton more clients keep people employed, keep their you know employee headcount up, and um, hopefully get back to business as usual as soon as per as possible. Craig, you want to add anything on, on that forgiveness piece? Yes, I think you covered it pretty well. Thank you. Folks, uh, Steve Rawl and Craig Dowdy have been with us here on North Fulton Business Radio, and they're with United Community Bank here in the North Fulton area. Um, gentlemen, this has been awesome. Uh, really appreciate you coming on the show. But before we let you go, I want to make sure that uh, folks know how to get in touch with you. So if you could uh, uh, give uh, everyone a way to connect with you, that would be great. Yeah, John, our our office is in the Conley Park office complex off of uh, Maxwell Road. Our address is 310 Maxwell Road, Suite 400, Alpharetta, Georgia, 3009. Um, my direct phone number is 770-794-3461. My cell number is 678 327-7617. And my email address is Steve underscore Rawl, R-A-W-L at U-C-B-I dot com. 
Awesome. Yeah, I'm in the same office. Same, I'm at the same office Steve is. Yeah. Um, you know, same address there. My direct line is 770-794-3465. My mobile is 229-220-8051. And my email address is Craig underscore Dowdy at UCBI.com. Now, John, it's important to note um, we're, we're growing. Um, we're, we're moving into a larger space. It just happens to be right next door. Mm. So our, our address will change in the next couple of weeks here. Um, but, but our, our email and phone number information will not. Okay. That's, that's, uh, that's good to know. Uh, folks, two bankers that are willing to give out their cell phones doesn't get any better than that. Sounds pretty personal to me, guys, Steve Rawl and Craig Dowdy with United Community Bank. This has been great. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you, John. Thanks, John. Uh, folks, just a, a quick reminder that if you've got some headaches that involve maybe administrative tasks, uh, maybe bookkeeping, uh, you got to get those records straight to get your PPP loan forgiven. Well, uh, I've got an answer for you that involves calling Chief Executive Angel SES Cabido at Office Angels. SE is awesome, and I know this personally because I use her uh, services and her team of angels. Uh, she's got folks that fly in, get the job done, fly out, and um, leave your business better, all the better for it. They've been virtual for 18 years, so working in the current environment is not something they're uh, unused to. Uh, so give SE a call, explain your problem, 770-442-9246. If she can't help you uh, personally with her team, uh, she'll refer you to the right folks, but uh, officeangels.us is her uh, website as well. Uh, just a quick reminder on this show, uh, you can find, uh, the podcast version of this show on all the major podcast apps, uh, Apple, Google, uh, Spotify, Stitcher, etc. Uh, just search North Fulton business radio and you'll find us. Uh, also you can go to North Fulton business radio.com and find us, uh, on uh, the web, uh, and find our archive of shows. And we'd love it if you would go and uh, on your favorite podcast app, find us, subscribe, give us a great review. It helps folks that uh, need the services of uh, uh, great professionals like Steve and Craig find the show. Um, and of course, all the others that we've had on over the years um, uh, that we've had on this show. Uh, we're on all the social media platforms such as LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter at North Fulton BRX. So for my guest, uh, Steve Rawl and Craig Dowdy, I'm John Ray. Join us next time here on North Fulton Business Radio.